Hello and welcome back. Developing a generative AI products has become very important nowadays and especially those who are working in the field of business analytics or data science or in general in technology. So having that uh, skill is very important. Today I plan to go over some simple steps for developing a generative AI application or app. As you know, if you are using a chat GPT, it will cost about $20 per month. So today I'm going to show you in simple steps how you can develop your own generative AI application or app. So it's a very simple app where I'm calling it my Gen AI app and you enter a prompt and then Meta's Llama 3 model is going to give a response and we'll also be able to customize theme so depending on whether we want a light one or dark one and then there are so many other options that you can try so that's the plan so let's get started so to get started uh, you can make use of the link in the description area so that will take you to github page where you can copy and paste uh, this code in app.r file for running large language models on local machines that needs uh, no API for that you can refer to my previous video Olama in R so if you have already done that your codes should work fine you can copy and paste this from github page so before I save this file let me create a new folder on desktop and call it gen AI so within this folder I'm going to within that folder I'm going to save this R file save as this desktop and gen AI and we'll call this app.r so now this file is there so what it has is we are going to use these three libraries in the UI part, we are starting with a theme that comes from BS LIB library. And then we can give our own title panel name, my Gen AI app. And in the sidebar panel, you'll be entering prompt in the text form. So I'm just starting with tell a joke. And then in the main panel, we'll take the output. Now in the server part, you will see that we are using uh, Meta's or Facebook's latest uh, model, Llama 3. So this is freely available. Again, for this one, you can refer to the previous video where we go over step-by-step -step details of how we can use this. Once this file is ready, let's save this. Now we want to create one more file. our file let's name this as run so run.r and we'll keep this on the desktop itself so this will use a library shiny and then there's a function called run app where we can refer to where our app file is so within quotes then this tilde sign slash desktop slash so this is our folder gen i within which we have this app.r file so we can say gen ai and we run so for this default prompt so it generates a joke and we can easily modify this to enter any new prompt so for example, change this to mild tone. I don't like you. So let's see what it says. So here are a few options in a milder tone. I'm having trouble connecting with you right now. We seem to have different personalities and that's okay and so on. Similarly, if uh, you want a different tone let's say 
harsh tone and then it gives you more direct uh, tone for the same for the same sentence i don't like you or you can create an email so create email with apology for delay in responding so it gives one example now one thing you can do is uh, you can also customize how this page looks for that i will go back to app.r so note that we have this theme now what we can do is now let me close this down so at the beginning you can say run underscore with themer so we add a parenthesis at the end save file and then go back to run and run so now it gives you some options like you can change this to dark and then there are preset themes so whichever you like you can retain that and and then you can minimize this so as we are typing actually it starts to figure out few things and uh, generate things but once it stops you will see that now it is referring to the entire prompt and then giving us a small poem you can also add a title here for the second box let me go back after closing this to app.r and in the main panel line 11 we can say title panel and within quotes we can put so this response is from llama 3 model so we can say llama 3 response so now if you run this again you'll see that title at the top so this way you can create your own simple generative ai app in fact we are using shiny so we can easily deploy it and uh, share with others if you like to do that those steps are very simple in case you want me to go over them i can certainly go over them let me know in comments now on my channel at bk rai you'll also see that i have given option to join as a member and thanks to everyone who have already joined as a member so if you like to support this channel that could be a good option it's just 99 cents in a month so this was very basic and very easy to develop it doesn't need any api and the good thing is everything is free i hope you found this useful thanks for watching i'll see you soon